what does your home decoration furniture look like? <laughs> <laughs> Iranian carpet. <laughs> That's my house, actually. Um, Muslim. <laughs> what, what, what does Muslim furniture look like? I have no clue, but it's got that vibe. Like we have the Islamic like decoration. <laughs> okay, yeah, Islamic patterns. No, like you know, on the wall you have like um, Quran and stuff, and like the mm -hmm. seven, uh, seven, yeah, the ninety nine names of Allah. Yeah, yeah like we've all got we that, have that, and then uh, you know the doors of heaven. Yeah, yeah, we have that. But everybody's <laughs> everyone has that. It's too cool. Um, what else do we have? Like Persian carpets, and we have a good room that you can't mm. go in. Yeah, only for guests. Yeah, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. My home decoration furniture. It's very average. Yeah. I've got definitely the Persian carpets, is a, it's a must. The, you know, the antiques around the house. Yeah. Then you've got, you know, all the like, the calligraphy that's around it on the walls. You've got, like, you know, the stickers of du'as literally on every single wall stuck in. Yeah, literally. And yeah, it, it, it's literally, it's like a red kind of gold, brown, black kind of colored mix. Mine's very simple. Yeah. Um, it's a bit mishmash. Sorry, Katni. We still have sofas, by the way. I'm just saying carpet. So okay. that's one of my mom's favorite. Okay. Our one, we have a sort of we bought a Iranian sofa, and yeah. it looks really nice. I think you've you've seen it. I've seen it. Definitely yeah. looks really and, cool. And yeah. we've got that, and we got a TV, and that's it, really. Yeah. Then we got a couple of sofas in there. But it was just very simple furniture. Though. I didn't spend a lot no. on the furniture. I just made sure that it matched, Absolutely. so that it all enhanced each other. Yeah, no, as in it, it's a, it's a, you're asking the wrong person purely because I'm so fussy with my food, but I can only eat my mum's food. Mm. And, but my, by far my favourite is dolma. Do I like home cooked food? Food, yeah. Of course I do. You don't know what dolma is? No, well, yeah. just It's explain. like basically stuffed vine leaves with like rice and like minced meat, onions, yeah. uh, you know, it's but There's kind like of that different mix. versions of it, like only Iraqi dolma. That's the only thing we There's, you know, there's this, this, the kind of salt, sour kind of one, and then there's the sweet one. The sweet one tastes all right. Is that you know? the one they put like? They put prunes. Tam I thought they put tamarind on it. Yeah, that's in the, the sour one as well, but oh. it's the prunes one. It, it tastes good, but it's really weird. Like I, I had it once and I just won't have it again. I love home cooked food. Mm. My favourite is my mum's sheep's brains. <laughs> Sister, you eat sheep's brains. Yeah, it's delicious. It's the best dish, but very hard to digest. Who does not like home food? Especially my mum and my auntie. Oh my, beautiful. I think I like your, your cooking. You cook? No, 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 I don't want mum. Okay. Why are you mixing things up? I'm not mixing, I'm just asking, do you cook food? No, I don't. Cool, that's all oh. I wanted to know. Oh, fine. So, <laughs> all right, fine, mister. Cool. Are you going to have an arranged marriage? <laughs> I can't see into the future. Um, is it expected? Was it expected? Yes, I think it was when I was younger, it was. But I don't think it's expected now. No, the younger generation know. are very much choosing their own spouses. Yeah. There are apps, dating apps for Muslims to meet each other in a halal way. I think the arranged marriage system is collapsing. Uh, no. No. Uh, I definitely disagree with that. It's because what we were reflecting to what we when we started, what if I didn't click with that person? Exactly. And then that would have end up divorcing. Exactly. So, no. So, my answer is no. Look, divorce has gone up. Parents, I think, are fearful of taking that responsibility. So now they encourage their children to almost go and find their own spouse. Yeah. Um, but with sometimes dire consequences. But that's worse because we don't have, or we, and as, as I say, the younger generation, they, they don't have that insight, that life experience. Like yeah. I can look at someone now and I can say, mm, yeah, not a very good feeling about that person. Yeah, because of if, your life experience. Yeah, if you ask me why, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but I would just say something. There's something's amiss. Yeah. There's a Nigerian proverb that's actually quite nice, mm. and it goes like this. It says, what the adults can see sitting down, the children cannot see standing, standing up. up. So, wow. there you go. I've got my own opinions about it. I think arranged marriage, it's, it's good, but as a developed idea, better than the, you know how they used to do it before where you wouldn't even see the man or 
before until, you know, your, wedding, maybe, yeah. until your wedding day but now it's developed where you know you're able to actually sit down have a conversation with him you know have have those like you know obviously with your parents around i'm not going to why not because i don't believe in marriage man okay is it not part of your culture well it is but i don't believe in it so, okay yeah um but to be honest i would not accept anyone without my parents' permission. So it, it, it wouldn't yeah. be a thing where I'll be like, yeah, love marriage is okay. Well, it is, but I just, I wouldn't do it for myself because my parents gotta have control of my So not really arranged, more like assisted. They assist you in getting Okay, <laughs> is it arranged if they bring the guy? Yes. To me, not me bringing the guy to him. To them, sorry. Yeah, bringing the guy, if they bring the guy to me, that's arranged. Arranged, but like, developed arranged when I had conversations with <laughs> so him. So assisted. So if you just, if you said no, then it's no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, it's not a forced marriage. Yeah. Were you ever embarrassed by your parents while growing up? I don't know whether I should say this, because if mum, you're watching, boy. <laughs> I'm not actually. I'm proud of my parents. I've always been proud of them. So. I was hugely embarrassed because English isn't their first language and my peers in primary school made fun of my parents' accent which caused me to kind of almost be ashamed and embarrassed of my parents but now I'm very proud of them. I'm not going to answer. <laughs> I think every child gets embarrassed of their parents yeah. though. Like my parents were really strict in that they'd have to drop me to school. Mm. And I was like, why are you dropping me to school? Like, type of thing. Like, I'm a grown up. Well, I wasn't, but you know. And everyone was like, well, your mum drops you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does. No, I wasn't. So it's all, it's all good. Got really support family. That's good. It's really good. Yeah, no, I don't know. I had a friend and her mum would always tell her, I want this house spotty clean, but <laughs> but she meant she meant spotlessly clean. Spotlessly clean, oh my goodness. So they would just take the proverbial mic out of her and, uh, <laughs> you know, make fun. Oh, and said, God. oh, let's make this house spotty clean and, you know, and of but course... But you've got to give it to them. They really did try, a lot of them did. They, they I did. know. And, and they even learned English, it may have been quite broken, but yeah, they tried. They, they did, did try, bless them. Um, you can't doubt their love for them. No, you know. no. How important is education to your parents? Very important. Um, yeah, that's why I study pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. It is important, and I think they've done, they, they done really, really well into their education path. Yeah. That will encourage me to do the best for myself to represent my family into the right path. It was vital. Yeah, I think they put emphasis on it at a young age, like, this is not a joke, mm. this is your future. Don't mess it up. I think my parents, they thought if we didn't get an education, then we haven't done anything in life. It was vital. Um, not to say that if we hadn't done any education, they would have cast us out or anything, but they would have definitely been disappointed. Yeah. I think it's because they knew how much hard work they had to put in. Exactly. And they didn't want us to go through that mm. and to go through all those struggles. And, and education really helps you. Um, so, yeah. I would say they should have pride of me because what I did. So, of course, it's important to them. Yeah. As in my parents, it's a kind of a different thing. So my dad, he doesn't really mind whether I'm studying or not studying as long as I'm a good human being, mm -hmm. I'm getting on with my life, then he's fine as long as I'm surviving. My mum, on the other hand, she's always pushed me towards, you know, studying and, you know, keeping up with my academics and just always, she's actually on the ball and it's so important for her that it's like to kind of, you know, it's her dream that she wants to instill in me, instill in me and it, it's been one, it's been one kind of a journey, but I think in my family, Marriage was more of a priority for the girls, really? but education was more of a priority for the boys, boys. because the assumption was that I would be looked after mm. by my husband. Things turned out differently. That's okay. Uh, but I did get an education. Okay, I have two male cousins 
who were basically around my age. Mm. And one of them is married and the other one, he looks exactly like me. It would be like marrying my brother. It's so weird. Mm. I don't know. No, I wouldn't know. And, and my parents want me to marry someone outside of the family. No. Because okay. she classified as my sister. Why would I marry my cousin? Absolutely, I, I, I like your answer. Do you, know you? Why? Do you know why? Why? Because a lot of people in this, in this, how would I Let's say, in this, culture. in this, in this, no, I wouldn't say culture. Let's talk in this that. environment now, yeah. in this mentality, there's a lot of people do marry their cousin, which is I find them wrong. Well, I, well, not anymore. I wouldn't say anymore. Maybe that's like years back. Yeah, not and that is why. But there's still people doing it. No. It wasn't common in my family to marry cousins. Right. So, I feel like my dad doesn't see it as a bad thing. He's like, oh, at least you know the family and you know where they come from and it's one of us. And I'm like, mm. yeah. From a young age, actually, they wanted to set me up with my first cousin. And I was, we were both dead against it. Like, yeah. I actually don't even know if he knows that they wanted to. That's insane, that. you know. Yeah. Imagine marrying your cousin. As a baby, they were like, oh yeah, they can marry each other. No. How do you think our parents did it? Because my parents are cousins, and their parents are cousins, and their parents are cousins, and they're all cousins. Every, th th thinking about it, everyone in my family is married <laughs> to their cousin, except my sister and a couple of my other cousins, but I mean. But it was different back then, and different area, mm. like, they're not. True. Yeah. I remember my class fellows, Bengali girls, yeah. Pakistani girls, 16, 14, being sent back and actually they were told that we're going on a holiday. Yeah. Sent back there and find that they're sitting next to a guy getting married. And you know, most of them ended in divorce. Yeah. Because I think parents expected this thing and it's almost like a boy from here is not good enough. Or a girl from or here. Or a girl from here is, is not, not good, good enough. enough. And we have to retain our cultural links yeah. with the motherland. Mm. Um, so therefore marrying your cousin is the best way to keep um, that culture alive. Well, I, I, time I, I, has I'm... changed. A lot of people are not educated. They understand that your cousin is your sister. So you wouldn't have that sort of connection to marry your cousin. Yeah. Yeah. Has, it has been changed. Of course it has been. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we consider them more as, as brother and sister. Yeah. And stuff. But, but just be a little bit It's more. part of Islam. Allah does allow it. So I guess... I even, can see benefits to it. Right. It, but you know, it's not promoted though in Islam. It's not Allah... Because has, Allah wants us to meet others from other yeah. cultures. We need to increase the gene pool. That's it. It's very important. And there is such a thing as when your genes cross, there are lots I know all about that. Diseases. Yes. Because, yeah. you know, um, my the father of my children is mixed race. There you go. So... There's a, that's a whole other issue. We're going to so go no into cousins for us. <laughs> no cousins for us. No cousins for us. <laughs> No, but we love you cousins, but we're not marrying you. No.